Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we'll be doing a part 2 for our JavaScript learning and if you haven't seen the part 1 yet there's a link on the i button you can go see through it and what we have learned in the part 1 is that we have learned how to use a let or var and how to use a constant, how to write your name or print the name and how to use if else condition and what are the types of the loops. So today in this part 2 we'll be learning about an array, the function and the objects and we'll be doing some regular maths and at the last we'll be making a javascript game using a basic javascript that we have learned in the part 1 and the part 2 so while you are watching my video tutorial please don't skip the video because you may miss uh, some important things so please do watch till the end and so without any further discussion let's begin our video tutorial so okay today in this video we'll be starting from an array okay so array is basically used to do a collection of a similar type similar type of a data so let me give you an example let's say we have a two student or three or four maybe five uh, we use let as you all know we have been doing this in our previous part as well so what if there are more than hundred or thousands of students so in this case we didn't we don't use student one two three like that we use an array okay so here I have done a let student one rows in and let student two pro rows you can let student three four five like that but in this case we'll be using an array for that use a constant and we'll be doing it for a month so write month equals to big bracket and write let's say a uh, January inside quotation mark comma quotation mark February March sorry mm, quotation mark March and then April and June okay I will write up to here and you know how to print write a document dot write inside months we have done this in previous part as well so okay here you can see the result return Jan comma February comma March comma April so what if you want to so only February so come down here and inside as you know that January is represented at 0 February 1 March 2 April 3 and June 4 so write 1 so here you can see the result there is a February and what if you want to so April then you write 3 okay so here's our April so what if we write 10 it shows undefined so let's just remove it and come to our previous part so okay now what if so we can remove the comma as well so for that we'll be using a for each write months dot for each function write anything inside the function let's say month not months that is month okay and write uh, curly bracket inside document dot write and write whatever you write in the function that is month document dot write month okay now I'll just add semicolon okay here you can see there is no comma now to add a space you know what we have to do add a plus sign and a quotation mark with a space okay blank space okay here it looks good now what if you want to remove the January the first part that is zero number as you all know so we can use shift for that okay that is months dot shift event or function you can say month dot shift okay so when we write this and save it here you can see there we have removed the January okay now we have what if you want to add something before the January that is we have on shift event over here so just remove it and come to first part let's say we want to add something before the January so we write months dot on shift and we have to write something it's inside the quotation mark let's say per rows okay here you can see the per rows okay now let's come to previous part again and okay save it 
so okay what if you want to remove the last part that is June so we have pop so for that we what we have to do is months dot pop okay and save it here you can see there we have removed the pop and what if we want to add something behind the pop so these are basically some events used on the arrays so let me add uh, August for that use a uh, push that is months dot push and write something inside the parenthesis that is let's say August AUG okay sorry uh, that is July should be July maybe not maybe must be that is after June July okay so okay so now what if you want to remove the February and let's say add something replace the February and add February okay that is FEB we have to, we want to add a full February so we use SPLIC that is splice we use months dot splice and inside we use one that is the number of FEB and only we want to change the FEB so we use one again and inside the quotation mark we write full February so if we save it here you can see the result that is Jan February March April June so what if we write 1 comma 2 and what if we want to remove February and March so to remove the February and March we have to add 1 comma 2 okay so it will remove Mar so it will replace the February March to February only and if we write 4 then there will be Jan and February only so come to 1 comma 1 again and if you write 0 comma 1 then it will remove the January and start from February, Feb, March, April, June. So okay, these are some examples of the array that you can use on your JavaScript. So now the next part we'll be learning is function. So in this section we'll be using uh, like we use this function to make our button works like we use HTML and CSS for design and we use function to make it work so first of all we'll be creating a button when we click onto it uh, it should show something some letters so for that just go to index.html okay go to index.html and create a button as you all know just create a button and add a on click event and let's say let's write my name okay my name with a open and close parenthesis and let's write here click me okay now we'll be adding uh, ID here is our button now we'll be adding our ID for that just create h1 tag or p tag as you want just and give a ID let's say me okay now go to main.js part and then then call the function that is my name okay now write uh, document dot get element by id because we have used the id on our html so we'll be using the get element by id and the id that is we have given is me here i'll show you there is the h1 with the id tag id of a me now go to me sorry go to function dot inner html write and equals to write let's say pro rows okay so when we click on to click me button it should show a pro row channel so let's try okay here's our parallel channel so let me delete this delete this and show you a difference when we click onto this it should show parallels okay so now we'll be doing some uh, intermediate level of calculation you for uh, let's say a simple simple interest so for that let's delete this okay and then go to index.html and delete the button as well so now we'll be doing some calculation for simple interest so let me write a comment that is simple interest okay now let's we need principal time and rate so first of all write principal with a colon and write and give a input let's type is text and uh, give a id of let's say capital p okay okay now come down Okay, sorry let's add a break tag over here and down in the input as well and now work for a uh, time that is time 
colon br tag and give a input for time as well that is input type text and give a id of a capital t sorry not inside outside the id id equals to capital t and give a br tag and we'll be doing same for red colon with a br tag give up okay here's our let's save it and here you can see our input so write the input and type and give a id so okay i think the type should be the number yeah so it gives you a validation so you couldn't write any text in the box so this is a validation uh, as well so write a capital r in the input give a id and use a br tag so okay let's see let's write some number to confirm that we are writing only numbers not text so okay it looks good so now let's refresh it okay now we'll be adding a button that could calculate the input when we click on the button so for that add a button tag and use a on click event as you all know we have been doing this for several times now so let's write calc that is calc and with a function and let's write here um, calculate interest okay let's write calculate interest so okay now go to main.js part and then now we'll be calling a function that is calc as you all know we have wrote that on on click that is function calc now we'll be what we need is we want to we want these inputs to get uh, work when we click on to the calculate interest okay so let principal equals to we get we will be doing by the id that is document dot get element by id and the id we have for the principal is that you know that is capital p it's right mm, capital p dot value close with semicolon and we'll be doing this same for the time and rate so let time with the id capital t and let rate with the id capital r so okay now we'll be so let simple interest formula that is si equals to p into t into r that is p into t into r to t into r by 100 as you all know to r by 100 by 100 so we'll be calling the function by the id we'll be doing that is document dot write it is document dot uh, sorry sorry not document dot write that is document dot get element by id get element by id and i think we haven't gave any id so go to index.html and give a id with a h1 tag okay and just give a id okay let's say s double i okay now go to main.js again and give a id that is s double s i i dot inner html because we'll be doing this on the same html file so equals to s i <coughs> that is s s that is let s i we have the okay now let's add some value okay and let the time be 200 oh no sorry 60 and red be 20 okay let's calculate it so uh, i think it shows an error so i think i have done some mistake so let's add some air space over here so it might be the problem so let's see again okay i'm doing just random number to check it out so it shows error again so um Okay, so just let's delete it and write again i find the error so that is not ptr because we have wrote the full form that is principal time and rate that we'll be doing let s i equals to principal into time into rate okay the those thing we have written that those we have let we'll be doing that so now do the same that is document dot get element by id now do s double i as you all know that the r id is and dot inner html equals to si so now it should work si so now give some 
amount over here principal let's say thousand time let's say 200 and a uh, rate would be 10 so let's calculate it so here it shows 20,000 so let's check the answer in our in my calculator so if you want this calculator then you can learn from my channel go to the I click button and you can learn to make this calculator as well so so the answer is 20,000 so the answer is correct and we have made uh, our simple calculating simple interest using JavaScript so these are some simple JavaScript function that we have used today so now we'll be working for the next that is object so just let's remove this and clear all okay now we'll be working for our objects so now we use objects for holding a multiple types of data so for example let me show you let's write let students uh, no let student okay uh, let student equals to curly bracket and write inside this let's say f name that is first name colon let's say perros okay and give a comma after each line after each statement then write a large name that is let's say channel okay and give a comma after that as well okay and let's say a solve okay and equals to 5.2 and give a comma and let's write the is that is 20 okay you okay, know at the end don't give comma and just close with the semicolon and you know what to write that is document dot write the and if you want the channel to be represent that is last name then you have to write document dot write student first we'll write student and dot l name okay sorry that is l name and give a semicolon okay now when we save it here you can see the channel and what if we write sub if you write sub then so and if you write the is there you can see the number 20 that's 20 years so okay what if you want to write a full name plus a uh, full name and last name that is power channel at the same time so we can use a function for that let's write another one give a full name full name colon function and we'll be writing something that is return value okay so give a return return and we use this for the objects that is used for objects only that is this dot f name that is our priors and plus give a quotation mark with a blank space and plus this dot last name that is l name okay this dot l name and close it and down below write document dot write student dot full name function okay right here delete the a's and write full name function so okay it should show pro channel so i think i have an error let me see let me see mm, okay okay here i have missed a comma so a small mistake can make a big difference in javascript or in any programming language as you can see so here is our project channel so we have finished our objects as well now we'll be doing a maths problem or a simple math so let me give you an example first of all let me show you how to show a value let's say let x equals to we use a math function that is math dot and if you want to show the value of pi we use pi and write document dot write equals to uh, that is x so what would be the answer you guess that is the value of pi that is 3.1415 dot 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 okay now just uh, let me give you one more example not one more we'll i will give you three or four example let me give you example of round off how to do a round off okay let's say let Mm, x equals to mm, say let's say 2.2 okay and give a semicolon and write let another variable let y equals to math dot round to give uh, to be uh, to do a round of you need a round and do x 
and then write document dot write y because we are printing the value of y so guess the answer as you all know the answer is 2 and what if we write x value 2.7 so you know the answer is 3 okay and if we write 3.7 the answer is 4 as you all know and if you write 3.2 the answer is 3 so now I will give you an example for how to do a power okay just remove this and remove the math that round as well now write math math m should be capital okay and write pow that is for power and write the value which you want to do a power of let's say 6 comma 2 2 is the power of 6 that is 6 power 2 that is you know the answer is 36 let's try let's write okay the answer is 36 what if we write 4 comma 2 that is the power of 4 that is 16 as you all know let's save it okay here you can see the output is 16 so let me give you an example for a square root as well okay just remove this all math here right for the square root you need to write sqrt and give let's say uh, 36 okay what is the square root of 36 as you all know the answer is 6 so let's save it here's the answer is 6 you can find and if you write 16 let's say mm, then the answer is 4 as you all know okay so we have finished some uh, easy math problems as well how to do it now we'll be making a uh, dice rolling game using the javascript that we have learned till now from a part one and part two and we can finish it in just one minute okay now first we'll create a button that we need to create a button that we need to roll when we click on okay just okay now create a button tag and with our on click event as you all know let's say my game my dice sorry let's write my dice function and then let's say uh, roll a dice okay here you can see a button so now give a id as you all know let's write a h1 tag with the id let's say dice okay and then go to main.js save it and go to main.js part and then call a function that is you know that is my dice call the function and uh okay let's write okay let's write let game equals to document uh, sorry math dot random and give a uh, open and close parenthesis okay and just okay save it let's see if it works or not okay uh, okay oh sorry i haven't added a uh, print section that is document dot write uh, sorry document dot get element by id because we have given an id get element by id and the id is that you all know that is dice and dot inner html because we'll be working the answer should the output should come in the same index.html file so when we roll a dice it shows a random number from 0 to 1 as you can see so we want uh, we have six numbers in dice so first of all we have to multiply the random by six okay just to multiply and write six so it should work okay roll a dice now okay um okay i have missed the close parenthesis so now it should work so okay here you can see there is a random number playing from one to six okay so we don't want this uh digit backward digit to be shown up we want to get fixed it to zero and we have done this in the previous part one as well so okay here you can see we have a dice rolling from one to six and that is random and we have created a rolling dice game so so thanks for watching guys i hope you like my video and if you want a further learning of a javascript and if you want to go to more intermediate level then please do write in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so thanks for watching again guys see you in the next video bye bye